And today I'm talking about how do I grow in my walk with God. Heute hast du gerne noch mal was für Mix, so ja, in mein, von meinem Bein. Ich bin like to be strong in the Lord. Äh, aber man muss da gehen. And the first is we need to spend time. Uh, we need to spend time with God every day. Und das ist halt wieder halt dann spendieren Zeit mit Gott jeden Tag. Getting to know God. Als ja, als ja schön. It's just like getting to know another person. Och det är precis som att lära känna en annan människa. When you start a new work, när du börjar på ett nytt jobb, you don't know these people. Så känner du inte dem som är. And you say, oh no, I don't know these people. Jag känner inte. And I don't, I don't know who they are. Jag vet inte vilka de är. So you feel it's so afraid, you know? Och du känner dig så så rädd. It's just like, you know, getting to know God. Men det är precis som att lära känna Gud. That's God. I want to know you more. Gud, jag vill känna dig. I want to hear you, Jesus. Och jag vill höra med dig, Jesus. Help me, Lord. Hjälp mig. To know you more. Att, att känna dig mer. And he says in 1 Corinthians, uh, Chronicles 16, verse 11. Och i första krönikeboken 6, vers 11. He says here, Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His presence continually. Stand in the heaven and His kraft. So come and stand it. Amen. And the second one is not doubt. Och det andra är tvivla inte. No doubt to remain strong. Utan var stark. Or it says here, remain strong. Det står att vi ska fortsätta att vara starka. It doesn't matter when you are in the congregation to a tree. Um, om vi bara är två eller tre, det spelar ingen roll. When we're singing worship. När vi då sjunger. Sing powerfully. Så sjung med kraft. Sing spiritually. Så sjung med kraft. Pray powerfully. Och be med kraft. Because sometimes we are supposed only to pray when it's many people. Och ibland är vi så bara för att be bara när det är mycket folk. We are good to sing with so many people. Och vi sjunger bara när det är mycket folk. With only two and three persons sitting. Men om det bara är två eller tre människor. Oh, I will not sing so much. Nej, jag vill inte sjunga så mycket. I will not give my heart to the Lord because not so many here. Nej, jag vill inte ge mitt hjärta för det är så lite. You know what, God? Jesus say our heart. Men Jesus say our vårt hjärta. He hears our prayer. Och han hör vår bön. At home, at home, uh, I'm praising the Lord alone. So please, I because him. I know He hears me, <laughs> and I know that He is with me. <laughs> because His His Spirit, the Holy Spirit is with me. <laughs> I'm not allowed to praise the Lord. <laughs> the Holy Spirit is with me, <laughs> and it's so powerful when we sing to the Lord. <laughs> and it is so powerful when we pray to the Lord. Holy Spirit, thank you, Jesus. I will pray in the name of Jesus. I will be healed. Amen. When you are not feeling well, in the name of Jesus, put your hand in your head. Put your hand in your heart. Whatever in your body, what is the pain in your body. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim. So the pain will go mm. by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the go. go. Amen. You don't need to go somewhere. You don't need to go somewhere. And not the pastor. Or the pastor. I have pastor. headache. Pastor. pastor. I have pain. Pastor. pastor. I have pain in my throat. And instead you bow your name. In the name of Jesus, feel the Holy Spirit in my body. Go, go in the name of Jesus. Amen. That is to remain strong. There, in the Lord, through prayer. Amen. And it says here in um, in uh, James one. 
Og i Jakobsbrevet 1, 6 på 7, 6 til 7. But when you ask, you must to believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubt is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. No. Because you will doubt. We are not strong to come in the, in the presence of the Lord. Men han ska be i tro och inte tvivla. För den som tvivlar är som en våg på havet som drivs hit och dit av vinden. Men så att inte tänker sig att få något av Herren kliva som han är och instabil i allt han gör. Amen. Så det sägs här. Should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Så det står att en sådan ska inte förvänta sig att få någonting av Herren. When you pray this, oh Lord, say thank you Jesus. Och du ber så säg tack Jesus. Oh, you pray. Och du ber. And you doubt. Men du tvivlar. And you say no. Och du säger nej. I have not received something from the Lord. Jag har inte fått något från Herren. Oh, what I do? Men vad ska jag göra? I never receive from the Lord every time I pray. Jag får inget från Herren när jag ber. And suddenly you give up. Och så ger du upp. And you say, no, I will stop here. Och du säger nej. I will not go in church. I will not pray. Jag går inte till kyrkan. I will not go to the pastor. Because the pastor cannot help me. Jag ber inte till pastor. I have been in the pastor and the pastor have prayed for me. But he still not received my expectation. Jag har varit till pastor men det hände ingenting. The Holy Spirit say, don't doubt. Den heliga ande säger, inte tvivla. When you pray, to remain strong with me. När du ber. Amen. To remain strong. Var stark. Halleluja. And also the number three is go to church. Och nummer tre är att gå till kyrkan. That is very important to have a fellowship to one another. Det är så viktigt att ha gemensamt. We cannot stand at home and just only pray alone. Vi kan inte vara hemma och be hemma. We cannot only praise the Lord alone. Och vi kan inte praise the Lord själv. Because in the Bible say, Bibeln säger, that it's very important, the fellowship. Att gemensamt. To what I am. So that's why we come in the congregation. Så därför så kommer vi till församlingen. To meet one another. För att träffas. And to praise one another. Och för att be för varandra. And to and to and to pray one another, yeah. So that is very important. So they get to be. Because in Matthew 18 verse 20 say, Matthew is often that should be good. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am among them. The two or three is somebody in my name. The one in my land. We are many here. We are many here. Vi är många här. So it means. Så det betyder. Lord God is with us. Att Gud är med oss. He is in the midst. Amen. Amen. He is in the midst. Och han är alltid bland oss. So that's why. Så där. We come in the church, the congregation. Så kommer vi till kyrkan. So the congregation have a church. Den samlingen har en kyrka. If the big building, the church will not come. Om, om den stora byggnaden och kyrkan inte kommer. No church. Så finns det ingen kyrka. So we need to come in the congregation. Så vi behöver komma till församlingen. Because you self, I self, I am the church. För att du och jag, vi är kyrka. If I am not here, no church. Om inte jag är här. If you are not here, no church. Och inte du här. The building is empty. And where is God? Och var Gud då? Where are you? Var är du? Come to the congregation. Kom till församlingen. Come to the congregation together with me. Kom till församlingen tillsammans med mig. And listen my word. Lyssna till mitt ord. No church if the people, if the church not come to the congregation. Det finns ingen kyrka. Because you are the church. För att ni är kyrka. I am the church. Jag är kyrka. Målet är the church. Och målet är kyrka. Amen. Halleluja. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Okay. I have already talked about the prayer. Jag har talat om bönen. And if you pray that you got an answer, om du ber och du har fått ett svar, write it down. 
Excuse me, yeah. Every prayer request you have and you get an answer. Varje uh, bön hände vi har och om vi får ett svar. Pray it down, down. Så skriv ner. It was one time that me and Pastor Tommy. Uh, jag och Pastor Tommy. We sat together. Uh, en gång så satt vi tillsammans. And we have write down all the prayer requests from the people, the congregation, the family. Uh, och vi har skrivit en lång lista på alla våra lämnar i familjen. And the children. Samlingen, barnen. It's very long. Det var en lång lista. <laughs> and we start one by one. Mm. Vi tog en och en. We don't pray everyone. Every mm. last we have. Uh, vi bad inte för alla. We start one. Mm. Vi, vi började med en. And we pray very strong prayer. The first last. Och, och vi bad och bad för det här. It can be the economy. Kan få det vara ekonomi. It can be the breakthrough. Eller en för ett genomfrån. Different, different situation to breakthrough. Olika situationer. Or whatever. Eller vad som helst. And so the next time, so it's another prayer request. Och nästa gång till min nytt vän hände. And suddenly we got a, a, a prayer answer. Plötsligt fick vi ett vän. So we check it out. Så vi, vi kryssade av den. That prayer request. Det var det. And we continue the, the prayer request that God did not answer yet. Och så fortsatte vi. We continue again. to pray this, never give up. Och vi fortsatte. Vi Amen. Amen. Never give up. Vi we continue up. to pray. It says it, be strong, remain strong, no doubt. So continue to pray. To pray. So continue to pray. Amen. Amen. And in Ephesians 6, verse 18, 6, 18. And pray in the Spirit all occasion, with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this, is, with this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Generally understand the burden of the enemy. Be as alltid i anden. Vaka därför och be uthålligt för alla de heliga utan att tröttna. Amen. So as I say, be alert, always keep on praying. Så var alert och fortsätt alltid att be. And the next is worship. Och den nästa är tillbedja. That is very important, to worship. Och det är också väldigt viktigt att tillbe. And in, in the book of um, Colossians, Colossobrevet, 3.16, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual song with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Låt Kristus budskap och rikliga bo hos er med all sin vishet. Undervisa och väga ett varandra med salm och hymner och andliga sånger och sjung Guds lov med tacksamhet i era hjärta. Amen, that is very important too when we are worshiping the Lord. Det är väldigt viktigt också när vi tillber. We have to cooperate to worship the Lord. Vi måste Because arbeta. God is worshiping us too. Gud tillber oss också. Because when we are when, when the worship team worshiping, när, när lovsångsteamet lovsjunger. We are not cooperating to worship. Och om vi inte samarbetar i lovsången. So it means we are not cooperating to worship the Holy Spirit. Så liksom samarbetar vi inte. Men det är very important to cooperate when we are worshiping. Så det är väldigt viktigt att samarbeta. Och vad är det här? When you are home. Och när vi är hemma. When you listen in the worship. När vi lyssnar på lovsång. You also cooperate this uh, worship from the YouTube or from the Spotify. Så vi också är enade med dem i, i den här tillbeten. I always do that. Jag gör ofta det. When I'm making a food. När jag lagar mat. And I have a Spotify beside me, like in mobile, mobile telefon. Och jag lyssnar på Spotify. And I listen in the worship. Och jag lyssnar på lovsång. And, and I'm worshiping together from the Spotify. Och jag I'm praising the Lord. Med dem. Thank you, Jesus. Henne. And sometimes you feel, you know, you, you feel the, the anointing from this song. Och ibland så känner man smörjelsen från sången. And suddenly, even you are cooking food, you cry. Och, och man kan få bara gråta när man står och lagar mat. I did that many times. Det har jag gjort många gånger. I cried and I say, I'm cooking and do like this. Lord, because I feel the anointing from the Lord. Mm. When you're even you're listening to the worship. Mm. Jag lagar mat och plötsligt så känner jag smörjelsen. And I cry. 
Sometimes you know if there's a worship that you really it's for you. This is for you. It means to remain strong through the worship. Amen. That is so important. And the next is you have to find a mentor too. If you have something that you know I I need a mentor. I need to talk uh, like you trust. So maybe you ask that um, like advisor. Find a mentor. The one you trust. That is very important too. And we read in Hebrews 6 verse 10. God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them. Gud är ju inte orättvis, utan minns hur hårt ni har arbetat för honom och hur mycket ni älskar honom i och med att ni nu, liksom tidigare, tjänar de heliga. Amen. If you are a mentor, om du är en mentor, and it's really that you will really help this person, och du vill verkligen hjälpa en person, give your time. To this person that uh, really need you. Pray this person. Give a Bible verse. And meet. You can meet one another. Maybe the mentor will come to your place. Or maybe you come to the mentor's place. Or maybe you come here in the church and talk with your mentor. And you can pray one another. Sharing the word of God, praising the Lord one another. It's important if you really need it. Find a mentor. So the mentor will give you a good word, a good news from the Lord. And the seven is start serving others. Yeah, it's mostly the same. This one, the mentor, and serving one, uh, serving, uh, start serving others. And that is in Matthew 5:16. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. På samma sätt ska er ljus lysa för människorna så att de ser att gott ni gör och hyllar er fader i himlen. Start serving others. Börja att tjäna andra. Not only me and me all the time. Inte bara jag och jag och jag. Can you pray for me? Kan du be för mig? Can you pray for me? Kan du be för mig? Can you pray for me? Kan du be för mig? How many times? Så många gånger. Every day. Varje dag. Every day, every day, every day. Varje dag, varje dag. As for me, as for me, as for me, all the time. How God answer our prayer? We need to help one another. We need to share the word one another. Or maybe you stand in the in the street and proclaim the word of the Lord. Jesus is alive. He is not dead. This is a song, God's not dead, he is alive, God's not dead. Look, it's a song, it's like, God is not dead, he's not dead. Proclaim this word in the street. Share this word. Don't sleep. Proclaim that he is alive. He is your father. He is your savior. Proclaim. Don't keep the word of the Lord in your only in you. Share this to others that are sleeping. Share this to others that are really need the word of God. 
Don't be a selfish Christian. You need to share the word of the Lord. As we did in the street there in Helsingborg. We proclaim that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except Jesus. That is in John 14, verse 6. We need to proclaim He is the way, the truth, and the life. The one that do know Jesus, that they will receive Him. Because that is our work. As a believer, proclaim the, the word of the Lord. We are the disciples of Jesus. We need to proclaim the word of the Lord. When Jesus grew around in Galilee, he proclaimed his father. And so many, so many don't like to hear him because he proclaimed the truth. Maybe it's the same as also when we proclaim the truth of the, of the word. Maybe someone will throw us a stone. Or maybe someone will hate us. But we stand together with the Lord. I don't care what the people say. This is a song of Edward John. I don't care what people say. Amen. This is the song of Edward John. I don't care. He writes this song. I don't care what the people say. I will say proclaim the Lord wherever I am. As Edward John said. Wherever he is. When he's sitting in the, in the airplane. He writes down the word of the Lord. And he shared to others. And he shared. We don't need to keep a selfish a selfish prayer or, or a selfish person. We have to share. You know, so many out there that you really need Jesus. And in a different situation, you have so many straight people. He's, he's uh, no home, no food, you know. And you really need Jesus. And where is the Christian? Where is the believer? No one come in the street and proclaim the Lord. Because we hiding. We hiding because we are so shy to proclaim the Lord. That He is alive. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord in our life. We are so shy. Where is the Christian? Where is the believer? Where is the prayer? Where are they? But Jesus asking them, where are you? Don't hide. I am here with you. Don't be afraid to proclaim the Lord. Because he is with you. When you pray, when I proclaim the word of the Lord, Holy Spirit, that you are with me. It was one time that uh, really got, uh, Jesus called me through. This is through dreams. Through dreams. Yeah. And he called to me, come. Oh, yes, so come. And he followed him. And he brought me into the mountain. And he said, stand up here. And he stand. And I was looking. Oh, Jesus is here with me. But I feel that Jesus is behind me. He only tells me how, how big my faith is. And I stand like this. And I do like this. I saw the three persons. The one is so sick. And the one is made to live longer. And this, the other one is so really look so sad. And I hear the, vo the voice. Pray for them. And I said, No, Jesus. You are here, you can pray. To them. Go and pray. Because I trust Him and I hear Him and I believe that He is with me. 
Like a list of them, no? Yeah. So, put them up on air, right? I come this three person. Yeah, if you're not paying for them. Sitting that is like this, yeah, and then now another one like this, and then now no, another one like this. Big, and I say to them, Or you're not going to solve it, you're not going to do it. What is your problem? Well, what is your problem? And at the same time, and I say, Where's Jesus now? Or, or something like that. Where's Jesus? But I feel Jesus is there. And he say, what is your problem? And this lady say, I'm so sick. And then I look in this lady. How can I pray? And I hear the voice of Jesus. Just pray. And I lay my hand. And I pray. In the name of Jesus, she will be free. In the name of Jesus, she will be healed. With the power of the Holy Spirit. And this lady looking at me with a smiley face. And I, I go to the next. And I say, What is your problem? I need to long, I need to live longer. Maybe she is dying. Because it's look really like this. I need to live longer. I say, where's Jesus now? Jesus, help me. Jesus, help me. Pray. Okay? So I do like this. In the name of Jesus. Receive him. Receive Jesus. He is your savior. He is your healer. So you will live longer. So this can never end. And this lady rise up. Okay, now rest the same. And they do like this. Oh, you know. And she was so happy. Oh, was so happy. And then the next lady, the third lady. Oh, the lady and I don't know what her problem. But I only pray. Because Jesus said pray. And I just pray and pray, and pray this lady. And after I pray, and I'm looking like this. Are you still there, Jesus? And I hear this voice. He's still here. And you know his, what these three ladies? To rise up. And the sick one rise up. And the another one that uh, uh, wants to live longer rise up. And when I look, wow. Thank you, Jesus. And after that, it's finished. Mm -hmm. I mean, I woke up the whole body of me. When I woke up, I slid down power, fire of the Lord. So I am in control. That is why I'm shaking. From heaven, let's go. The power of the Lord. Look at the And I said, Jesus. I saw Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, this is so powerful in Jesus. He does when we pray that. So powerful. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your word, Jesus. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your Thank you for your anointing. It's here to your people, Jesus. Thank you for this We cannot do anything without you, Jesus. Help your people, Lord, to come to you. Faithfully. Father, thank you, Jesus. Yes. That we can proclaim your words in all over the world. That we can yes. We can proclaim your word in the street. We can pray that people are sick, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever the situation of the people, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus that you will help them. By your power and healing power over your people. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We love you, Jesus. Amen.